Hello. Welcome to my first couch musing. Is that too American? Sofa musing? Seti musing? Delete is appropriate. Um, okay, so what has happened since my last one, which I put up late anyway? That was my COVID test. Uh, that was seven days ago. Um, and I still haven't had a result back, which is a bit worrying. It said two to five days on the website and then it said 48 hours um, on the next website when I booked it. And as I say, it's been seven days and I've not, not heard anything back. So I'm starting to doubt that I did it correctly. I'm starting to doubt that I've done something, you know, think that I've done something wrong. Um, I don't know why I've not had the result back. It's frustrating, but it's got to the point where it's seven days ago. It's what difference does it make if I even get the result now? It's it's only going to show the state of play seven days ago. Um, in myself, um, I've had a, a pretty stressful week, really. Um, it's scared me. I think that's the overriding thing. It has terrified me. It's made me um a lot of stuff come up. It's made me more aware of my own mortality um, and that we are battling a, an actual real thing. It's a bit too close to home, really. Um, no idea whether I've had it, got it, whatever. Um, all I know is that I have been warm. Um, my cough has gone away, um, but I've, I'm still not breathing as I should. It feels like I've got someone sat on my chest or like a, a elastic band around my chest all the time, which isn't very pleasant. Um, I've been getting tired, um, it's been taking it out of me to like walk up the stairs or, or do anything kind of that I took for granted before. Um, it could be something else, it could be, um, you know, because I'm, I'm worrying myself about it, I'm making myself worse, I don't know, it could be psychosomatic, no idea, but I've not been feeling too good, it's not very pleasant, no. And today I decided that I was going to get dressed for the first time in a week and I was going to put some makeup on to make myself feel a little bit better and look a little bit less wretched. So that's what I've done. And I thought I'd do a little video because I've been a bit pants at doing those. Um, I'm not working at the moment. I'm, I'm off sick. Uh, well, it's been a bit It's been a bit kind of um, daytime TV and a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race going on. Um, one thing that, that has happened um, in the last few weeks um, with my lockdown is that my ex, um, who's also uh, my friend, um, had a, a domestic issue and has moved in with me um, temporarily while lockdown's going on. So that has actually been really helpful because I've been unable to walk the dog, but since he came here he's been um, going out and walking the dog every day. Um, and also he, he likes, um, likes a hoovered carpet and I can't be bothered, so he's hoovered up. So every cloud, so um, he's also making sure that I'm not doing too much and um, stopping me from being my usual gung-ho, Kate's fine, Kate's going to get on with it self. So that has been um, been a bit of a blessing in disguise, to be honest. Um, we're also getting on all right, so it's it's not a problem. It's always been a bit of a worry because um, we've never like stayed together for longer than more than a couple of days, really. Um, but... Yeah, the, the harmony seems to be in the household. The dog's happier. She's getting more attention and fuss. Um, and uh, Josh is pretty much nocturnal anyway. <laughs> but he's been getting on all right when he has been making an appearance. So, so yeah, it's, it's scary times, isn't it? It's scary times. And, yeah, it's it's been a funny old week, really, by all accounts. It's beautiful out there, but I can't even go out. Um, I don't know when I can go back out again. I don't know if it's when my temperature's gone that I can go back out. So I'm just pretty much just plodding around in the house, really, with with my uniform blanket and yeah, lots of lots of trivial reality TV. <sighs> Which I'm sure, to be honest, I've had a pretty easy ride of it. Since, since since lockdown was introduced, I've still been going to work, and you know I've still been having a routine in my day, and um, a lot of people have had it a lot more difficult than me. So you know it's my my turn really to to have have, a, have it a bit tricky. Um, just be great when normality is restored, really, won't it? 
but at the minute I'm just going day by day really and I think that's all we can do you know there's still so much uncertainty so many mixed messages going around that we just need to try and look after ourselves and and keep going and and, and just see what's what's waiting for us on the other side really so I, I hope everyone's doing all right and hope everyone's coping with with the homeschool in malarkey and and the working from home and you know not being able to see your loved ones and it's, it's it's amazing how quickly it's become a normal kind of way of life really you know I'm, I'm i'm not even thinking about planning adventures now because who knows what's going to happen i don't know if i'm supposed to be going to denmark on the 2nd of june which has been postponed from the 16th of march but i don't really think that that's going to happen i don't think anyone's going to be going away this summer so i think maybe i need to um try and sort that out with Ryanair but I'm leaving it till the last minute because I've already put it back once and that's cost me so so God knows I think to be honest we're going to have to get used to the fact that this year is pretty much written off from beginning to end and and hope that we'll have some semblance of normality next year but who can tell really I mean I think it's the impact of this is going to be a lot more long lasting than, than we probably anticipated at the very beginning and the very beginning seems like a lifetime ago and actually it was only, it was only like two months ago really and that's pretty terrifying but you know we wouldn't have got to this point in in the history of humanity if we hadn't been able to adapt and evolve so I think that's that's what we're all going to have to do just hope that this easing lockdown measures in a really confusing way that, that Boris Johnson has um, announced isn't going to cause more confusion and just make people think I stuff it. I'm going to going to go out and congregate on Ilkley Moor and mix in with other people and have some kind of second wave. I just I just don't really know. I don't know. I don't know. My head isn't as sharp as it would usually be. Although today I woke up with the temperature, with the highest temperature I've had, um, breathing was a bit better um, but ultimately I felt a lot more at ease and a lot more myself so yeah I'm coping much better today than I have done in previous days a couple of days ago I was an absolute wreck I was just really scared I, I thought that I wasn't going to wake up if I went to sleep um, so yeah it has been a bit traumatic but that seemed to be um, a bit on it back on it now <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> well, that cleared the cobwebs out a little bit anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to gonna leave it for now and get back to um, watching this morning and resting up as best I can. So I'll be fighting fit. I'm hoping that if I, if I can keep kind of resting up and showing some kind of steady improvement this weekend and tomorrow that I'll be back in my full glory come Monday that's that's kind of the um, the end game at the moment so um, hopefully Monday will be business as usual and I can get back to the office and get back to work and start feeling more like a productive member of society I know that my boss was probably trying to be nice when he said you rest up you, you being off and not working isn't actually affecting anyone else at the moment I think that was supposed to be a kind of don't worry about it message but in my fragile state I obviously took that as well <sighs> yeah you're kind of disposable really Kate you're not making any difference at all in the workplace and I felt a bit rubbish but oh well and I'm sure there'll still be a big mountain of work ready for me to do when I get back on it so you know, I've just got to go with the flow, haven't I, and just take it steady um, while I can. And then um, come back fighting fit next week. So I'm going to go and chill out, and I hope everyone's okay. And, uh, yeah, take care. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>